this If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Hi everyone, it's Queenie here. Um, today I actually want to talk to you about um, Shade Academy and how it's actually changed my life a little better. Um, when I actually joined the, this community, I was so, so quiet. I wouldn't actually talk. Every question I got asked in raids was, Yes, no, yes, no. Um, my friend was actually answering questions for me. When I got asked to become a share recruit, I had no idea what kind of journey I was starting or what to expect. I was thinking, I'm already experiencing the reds. I don't need to be taught them. But I was completely wrong. Shared Academy is all about creating friendships, having fun, being alongside new friends, creating new friendships, and learning at the same time. It's like, it's hard to explain, but it's like a new journey that you started in your life. It's amazing. When my mentor shoot at the time asked me to become a shared recruit. I had no idea what to expect or anything. When you do join the shared academy and you've spoken with the share manager and the manager actually puts you into a team or gives you a mentor, that's when your journey starts. You'll go through all the roles on dark hours from healing, drunk healing, and learning timing for Boomer, learning the different strats on the triplets like 4 4, 7 1, 6 2. And obviously, there's multiple ways you can actually do Razorback. You learn them as a team together. And if you die, you die. It's that again. It's all about learning. It's the experience that you gain from it and you take that away with you. And when you go to lead your own raids, you can actually input that information into them. When it comes to learning Iron Horse, I absolutely love teaching Iron Horse. I really do. Um, is you learn the shield guys, how to one shot them with the regulars. And if you haven't got your regulars, we'll take you through the raids, help you get the materials, get the components for the, to build the regulars, and then we'll help you farm the control points to get that blueprint. And then you, we'll, when we get to Pfizer, there's multiple ways you can actually do this raid. We'll teach you how to do solo top. Airlock which is basically tank and visor. Some teams do pre-damage on B, we'll go through that with you. And obviously there's all the DPS roles on Char like Charlie, Bravo and Alpha. Um, Williams, I hate teaching Williams. I absolutely hate it. Um, but I'll do it. And I always have a great team around me with support who can help me explain the, the cogs or the Pac-Man. You will learn diagnostic, you will learn the assistant. And when we get to Marazova, you learn how to key tank, you learn how to stagger, uh, you learn how to shoot the rockets. There's so much you can do in Iron Hearts. 
I was having such a blast being a shared recruit. I was enjoying it. I had new friends. The team was a really big team. So it ended up being cut into two, but shoot was still momento and he was still around. He still did raids with us. Um, eventually the team I got put in ended up being called the Queen's Guards, named after me. I don't know why. I was just it. It should be named something with Queenie in it. I was just Joker messing around and the next thing, team was named after me and unfortunately that team now is disbanded. It Everybody's left the game, stopped playing, etc. Got different games. Uh, we had so much fun. Um, that team actually helped me build some confidence. Um, and then I had a surprise agent test without even knowing because I just did my first FTC raids, leading them through both raids. And the next thing I know, shoot, well, say congr congratulations, you passed your agent test. And I was like, what? Um, why wasn't I informed? And I'm thinking if I was informed, I would have been even more nervous. So it was a great relief to be an agent, but at the same time, I didn't like the responsibilities it came with. I didn't want to do the pitch, post the pitches. I didn't want to use the division red ping. And I just wanted to go back to being a recruit. After getting my Asian tags, I led raid after raid after raid. And I started coming out of my shell. I was talking to people. I was making friends. I was leading raids more comfortable within the community. I was always on the red server. Um, I was having so much fun. And I thought to myself, I want to take this further. I want to become a mentor. Which didn't happen to um, July 2022, I think. I can't remember now, it was such a long time ago. Uh, I just saw a post on Discord and I messaged the shared manager at the time and we will talk when you get back into England because I was actually in Denmark at the time. I had just got my first passport so I went over to Denmark to meet up with some friends and I remember that day very, very well because I had an hour's delay over in Denmark and then I came back to 40 plus degrees at Stansted and I thought, oh my God, and got to the hotel, I was just about to co actually collapse on the bed and then I got a message of the shared manager found out I did something stupid broke my laptop and um, but it's, it's still work it was just USB ports and um, I spoke to the shared manager and I got my mentor tags I was really really happy I thought, oh my God, this is a new journey that's going to be starting. I'm so nervous. Shared mentor comes with extra responsibilities, which I was still learning at the time. I had the support from my team at the time. I had support from my friends. I went on to do my first team. Really enjoyed that went on to do my second team it wasn't as much fun um, 
the team didn't gel. I didn't gel with the team. So they passed the agent test. And we never saw each other again within two or three weeks. The team disbanded. But I went on and on. I was having so much fun. I was feeling comfortable being a shared mentor. And I thought, I love this. Really having so much fun. Uh, meeting more people. Leading Red, Red still actually saw a different side of stuff. Uh, I was actually looking at people's potential and where they were struggling and how I could actually help them as a person and try and build a friendship. Shared Academy has helped me so much from not how I actually learn and play the rates. It's also helped me emotionally, mentally, physically as well. I can go into a raid and be so confident in what I'm doing, how I'm leading it, and actually interact with the other people in the group as well. Even though I don't know them, I, I can actually speak to them as I do know them. And by the end of the raid, they go, Queenie, that was so much fun. And that's my aim at every raid I do is not how long it takes to complete the raid. It's fun factor. Fun is how I like to create raids, how I like to lead raids. I create little features of my own, do them on purpose, do them by accident, just for a fun factor. An opportunity once came up for me to become shade manager. When I got that role, I was so nervous, didn't know what I was doing, but the PlayStation and Xbox managers along with the Shade Admin helped me. I got confident, really, really enjoyed that role on PC. As I was on PlayStation as well, and there was a point where they needed a manager on PlayStation, so I went over to PlayStation to be Shade Manager. It sadly didn't last too long because I was unhappy. I wasn't enjoying it. I wanted to be back on play PC. And I wasn't afraid of telling the shared admin that I didn't want it. So I went back down being mentor. I had lots of real life issues going on at the same time. So it was being shared manager was a bit much at the time. I absolutely love being a shared manager and hopefully one day I will be shared manager again. So I dropped back down just being mentor and I'm absolutely loving it. I found my love for the game again. Um, I started a new shared team, Blackfire. Um, I was going to run that with Gunslinger, but sadly it didn't work out that way. I felt like Gunslinger had so much going on, so I uh, spoke with Jen and Jen agreed that he would come along and join Blackfire with me. And so I spoke with Gunslinger, I told him my concerns and he was happy for me to go ahead with the team, with Jen. Um, we were actually called Firebad, that's, that's another story. <laughs> um, but Blackfire is a, such an amazing team, it's been on such an amazing journey. I love this team all far too much. It's now at a point where they know when I need support, know when I'm pushing myself too hard. They know when I'm down, they know when I'm upset. Yeah. Um, 
running Blackfire with Jen is so all good. Not only because he's my best friend, it's the fact is that we're all chilled, we're all having fun, we've got to know each other. We have a blast. Each raid is different. Um, uh, we'll take the piss out of each other, mainly at my expense, which I don't care. And every training session we have, it's like a breath of fresh air. I really can't describe it. It's all about learning. Why? Why? We don't care. The key factor is learning. If you actually like raiding and you want to learn more, come join the Shade Academy. It's so much fun. You could end up having a journey like I have. You never stop learning. Um, I've only recently learned how to do accommodations. I've got blue bears down now. If you're interested in reading, enjoy reading, and want to learn more, come join and shake on me. You'll have a really good time. You'll end up on one of our awesome shared, shared teams. Thanks for watching. See you next time.